Hey guys, it's it's pretty damn toasty. It's hot as shit out today. And I just figured out the best way to pour for let's go in the garage. Okay, so over the last couple weeks, hold on. Of working on my canoe and getting it up and going, making sure you can float properly. I've had to put it on my car and the result of which has led into some scratches. This led in, it's hot. Long story short, I was scratching the crap out of my canoe. I had seen another guy on YouTube, I don't remember the name, Survivor Man, the actual Survivor Man. Um, he used blankets to protect the roof of his car, especially if you're using foam blocks, because I can't afford at this time a big old fancy uh, roof rack, whether it's Rhino or Thule whatever the brand is. So I started using blankets and I want to show you guys how I go about getting this canoe on my Honda Civic. Especially since it is uh, shorter. I mean, I don't have any roof racks on there so I can't literally slide it. And every time I too try to slide it with, whether it's laterally across the top of my car, left to right or right to left, or front to back, the, the foam pieces that I have cut that are initially meant for canoe or for kayaks. I cut them in half to give a little bit better of a fit and that's working pretty well. But I was trying to figure out how do I keep them from falling off while I'm putting them on because every time I would slide it they would just pop off real easily and I'm not a big fan of that so I ended up cutting them in half. I ended up cutting them in half. You can see where it's cut there. And then I also cut a little sliver off this so it's easier to fit on the edge of my canoe. Um, but then they started to pop off a lot, a lot easier and I was getting frustrated with every time they would come off. So I started experimenting, not only with placement and where I should actually put them, which I figured is towards the yoke um, of the canoe, because that's where it sits um, in the center of my car. And I'll show you guys what that what that means when I get it all set up. But I want to show you how I figured out how to get my canoe on the car. So what I come up with so far is just to drape these blankets across the top just like that. And then instead of the, the gunnels of the canoe resting on top of my car and scratching the ever-living shit out of it, it'll rest on top of the blanket here. And then once I have the canoe on there, I can just lift the the canoe up a little bit and then take him out on each side and here's an extra one just for extra safety precautions, extra protective measures. Because I do use this car to Uber on occasion. I don't, I'm not very fond of having scratches all over my work vehicle. process is pretty simple to get it up and over. The only downside is, is when I'm putting it on the car I have to walk backwards to it which is why I typically just stand here, yoke it up. I don't even use the actual yoke because I'm walking forward that way because my neck and face is this way. So I'm just going to yoke this fully up. Maybe. Come out of there. I'm gonna readjust that blanket really quickly. You just pick it up. Just gonna lean a little bit one way or the other. Just gonna 
gonna slide it forward, making sure to stay on the car. You're eventually gonna hit the pads. You're gonna turn it, lean it forward some more. Keep on going. As you can see here, the blanket is pushed all the way down. So I'm just gonna do, just bring it across here. The leverage that can do up. The blanket just through the first pad. That'll make it easier to push the west of the way across. Once you're centered here, you can actually come back a little bit here. Just a tad. Just like that. Once it's centered in the A-frame, this is where the yoke is. How do I know? Because the two pads are flush up, flush up against it. What you want to look out for is the center of this. You can push it right a little bit. There we go. That's pretty center. There are two creases on the top of my vehicle that kind of dictate where the edges are. Obviously the edges of the vehicle are where the edges of the vehicle are, but there's two uh, curvatures or uh, concave or concave, whatever it's called. And that gives you a pretty good idea of where center is. If you can get the, the hole in equal distance on each side, an inch or two usually. That's going to give you a pretty dang good idea about, that sounds awful. That's going to give you a pretty good idea about where it needs to be sitting. I like to have it facing downwards towards the hood a little bit more. So I'll pull forward just a tad here. Because it's going to be taking the brunt of the wind. And you're going to want to be able to pull it down a little bit so it doesn't fly up on you here and that's what's important also about being able to tie it down the front whether you're using one strap or two you can do a triangle from each one each corner or like i do it i just run it through the the catch for my hood i just run underneath there it still catches fine there's no um, interference with the ability of the hood to actually latch down um, but I like to run just straight through there because I don't have a specific way to tie it in a triangular pattern. And I do use, um, I forget what kind of straps I use, but I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how specifically I figure out how to mount this without scratching the absolute shit out of my car since I don't have roof racks. And that's what we got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.